I wanted to show you, just in case you didn't like my handwriting, I went ahead and, and uh, typed all this out so you could see. Uh, we have the Taylor series, which is uh, uh, all the terms as I showed you before, written out, f of a, f prime of a, uh, f double prime of a over 2 factorial times x minus a squared, uh, and so forth. Uh, each each uh, progressive polynomial term, uh, like I like I told you before, uh, but this just shows that uh, this is the compact summation form. Uh, we also have the Maclaurin series, which is just the Taylor series evaluated at a equals zero. It's just a special case of the Taylor series, and uh, the general summation uh, compact summation form is 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 this uh, the summation from n equals zero to infinity of the nth derivative of f evaluated at zero divided by n. Uh, times x to the power of n. Okay, so so the Taylor series and then the special case of the Maclaurin, Maclaurin series. Uh, again, we have uh, our approximations and uh, we have an uh, increasing order of approximation as we as we add terms, our approximation uh, if, if the series converges becomes better and better and better. So our, our zero order approximation is f of a as I showed you before. Our first order approximation f of a plus uh, f prime of a over 1 factorial times the difference between x and a. And so this is, this is as, as you notice, written out for the general, the general case uh, of the Taylor series, uh, not, not just for when a equals 0. And uh, we have this, this approximation, and it continues on. And I've shown the terms all the way down uh, until we get uh, to the 11th order term. Uh, excuse me, the thirteenth order term, uh, written out lots of terms here, uh, so you can see. And I'll give I'll give you guys a, a PDF of all this, so you can you can go through it uh, if you want to, uh, you know, check my math, see if you can find an error or something. That'll be great. Uh, uh, but then there there's one other thing that I wanted to show you, uh, which which should be obvious, but uh, but is is kind of nice to know uh, that we can write these uh, out recursively. And so we have the zeroth order uh, approximation. Uh, f of a, and then the first order approximation is just equal to, uh, we just use this this f sub 0 of x to be the zeroth order approximation, and then the first order approximation is just, um, there we go, is just that term uh, placed into here plus uh, one more polynomial term, and then the first order approximation is, uh, or excuse me, the second order approximation is just equal to that first order term uh, plus this this other second order term, and the third order approximation is equal to the second order approximation uh, plus this other term, a and so forth. A as we go on all the way down, and of course it doesn't stop at 13, although that's where I chose to stop. It doesn't stop at 13, it goes all the way to infinity.